Hi, in this episode of the beginner's guide I'll talk about grouping and ungrouping objects. You can do that from these two options, group selected objects, keyboard shortcut control G and ungroup selected groups, shift control plus G. You can also do that from here, objects, group and group. Now I'm going to create some circles here. Now to be able to group objects, the first thing we need to do is select them and we can do that by grabbing the select and transform tool, holding down the shift key and select. Or we can drag around objects like that and select them. Next thing, we can group them. Also, you can again hold down the shift key and let's say add these two and group them again. Hold the shift key again and create another group. And notice now that if I start ungrouping, I'm slowly undoing each group. Sometimes you may Let's say select all these objects and click this twice and then go back to your graphic, click here, try to group this and you see nothing is happening. This is because we group this twice and we need to click one more time to ungroup these objects. Now I'm going to create a simple graphic here to show you how useful grouping can be. Create a circle, change the color. I'll create another circle here, change the color to white, Select all these, duplicate it, with the control key I'll move it over here. Okay, so I created this simple graphic here and let's say I want to be able to move the eyes and instead of trying to select them every time because let's say you may have additional elements here, different objects very close to each other and selecting can become difficult. Instead of selecting them every time, I can group them and then every time I want to move them, I can do that very quick and easy. And of course, if I want to, I can group this entire graphic and move it or resize it. And then every time I want to adjust just the eyes, I can group one time and do that. So grouping can save you a lot of time and be extremely useful when you're creating complicated graphics. So that's it for this tutorial. Bye.